Hello and welcome to AutoX. Now you join me at the Bud International Circuit and I've got two very special bikes with me. On my right is the Ducati Street Fighter V4S which is a naked version of the Panigale V4S. So that means it is a super bike minus the fairing. And on my left is the all new Triumph Speed Triple RS. Now this, of course, the Speed Triple RS in the past used to be a motorcycle that was a big bruiser of sorts. But with this new version, this all new version, in fact, they have changed everything. And this is closer to being a hyper naked. So we have got two very special bikes with us today. We are at the Buzz International Circuit. So as you can guess, we are going to do a track test of these motorcycles. Of course, we have ridden the uh, Speed Triple RS on the road. We are yet to ride the V4S on the road. So that is for later. But right now we are at the track. So let's find out which of these motorcycles is better suited for a racetrack. You're watching the AutoX YouTube channel. You can also get your daily dose of all things automotive on our website, autox.com, and follow us on social media. Don't forget to check out our monthly magazine and make sure to hit the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Before we get on with the actual test, let's get some facts and figures out of the way. The Street Fighter V4 features the same 1100cc Stradale V4 engine as the Panigale V4 and it develops 205 bhp and 123 Nm of torque. The figures are slightly lower than the Panigale and that's down to the fact that the engine is tuned for better low end and mid range. In comparison, the Triumph features a 1160cc inline 3 cylinder engine that churns out 178 bhp and 125 Nm. Both the bikes are equipped with a 6 speed gearbox with an up and down quick shifter. The Ducati has a hydraulic clutch while the Triumph still uses cable actuated mechanism. The Street Fighter's aluminum front frame is derived from the Panigale and in the V4S that we have on test here, the bike gets semi-active and fully adjustable Olin's electronic suspension on both wheels. The Speed Triple RS has a similar aluminum twin spar frame and it too gets fully adjustable Olin suspension, albeit it doesn't get electronic adjustability. Both the motorcycles have nearly identical weight, meaning the Street Fighter has a better power to weight ratio. Now since we are at the BIC and it's a power circuit, you might think that the V4S will absolutely cream the Speed Triple RS. But that's not going to be the case because for this test, we are going to use the short loop of the circuit. So it's more technical, uh, more flowing corners, quick directional changes, but we are not going to use the main straight as well as the back straight. So that's where ideally the Ducati will have the advantage where it will just pull a gap on this motorcycle, but we are not using the back or the main straight. Now coming to the lap times, of course, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we are going to leave it to the professionals and uh, we'll take help of Simran King who knows the circuit like the back of his hand. And he is one of the fastest guys around here. So he's going to help us out with the lap times. So uh, let's get cracking. After riding both the bikes back to back on the track, let's hear what Simran has to say about the Street Fighter V4 and the Speed Triple RS. Triumph Speed Triple 1200, both is the ultimate bike, both is the comfortable, hai, braking ultimate, hai, quick shifter, jo uska jo shifting, hai, gear shifting, wo both ultimate. Hai. Single side swing arm, but it is also stable on the track, the whole mid corner is very stable hai, bike. Then, uh, there was one thing drawback that initial pickup is low, but high rev bike, so upper RPMs are very much pull in the lower RPMs. There is a lot of flat spot in the lower RPMs, that when we give the throttle, it is a little flat. Then, uh, in the sitting position, it is very good. Flick is very easily, because it comes with the bike with suspensions. Ducati Street Fighter V4 बहुत ज़्यादा aggressive है अगर दोनों bikes को compare करें Speed Triple and Street Fighter को तो V4 बहुत ही ज़्यादा aggressive है तो जिसको भी V4 लेना है तो थोड़ा सा उसके powers and all सब कुछ सबसे low करके चलाएंगे फिर बाद में open up करेंगे तो ज़्यादा understand होगा on the other hand कि जो Speed Triple है Speed Triple बहुत ही ज़्यादा nimble bike है कि उसको easily control कर सकते हैं डोमिनेट कर सकते हैं पर V4 में बहुत ही ज़्यादा एग्रेसिव पावर है प्लस आप V4 को हैंडलिंग बहुत ही ज़्यादा अल्टीमेट है कि आप जितना ज़्यादा भी आप लीन एंगल लेके जा सकते हैं उसमें भी अपशिफ्ट डाउनशिफ्ट क्विक शिफ्टर के साथ में आता है प्लस उसमें विंगलेट्स भी हैं 
जो 280, 270 किलोमीटर पर आर की स्पीड पे फ्रंट से 30 के का डाउन फोर्स क्रिएट करते हैं तो ओवरऑल पैकेज बहुत अच्छा है उसका देन V4 का एक ड्रॉबैक था कि जैसे ही उसको फ्लिक करते थे तो मिड कॉर्नर स्टेबल नहीं थी देन बहुत ज़्यादा एग्रेसिव पावर है एग्जिट ऑफ द कॉर्नर में पर जो जैसे कि जो फ्लैट स्पॉट स्पीड ट्रिपल में था वो स्ट्रीट uh, फाइटर में नहीं था कि इनिशियल जो फ्लैट स्पॉट है वो स्टार्टिंग से ही बहुत ज़्यादा वाइल्ड है बाइक देन ब्रेकिंग का थोड़ा सा मेरे को लगा कि स्ट्रीट uh, फाइटर की ब्रेकिंग थोड़ा सा फेड आउट कर रही थी आफ्टर फोर फाइव लैप्स जब हॉट लैप्स कर रहे थे वहीं ऑन द अदर हैंड स्पीड ट्रिपल की वो चीज़ नहीं कर रही थी ब्रेक्स फेड नहीं हो रही थी बिल्कुल भी देन ट्रांजिशन करना शीकेन्स में स्पीड ट्रिपल में ज़्यादा ईजी था पर ओवरऑल जो अगर हम स्पीड की बात करें टोटल मतलब दोनों बाइकों की टोटल स्पीड क्विकेस्ट कौन थी वो थी स्ट्रीट फाइटर V4 फोर Now in terms of lap times, both these motorcycles are quite evenly matched. Uh, the Speed Triple RS was just 0.3 of a second slower than the V4S, despite that uh, huge power advantage. That was the gap. Now, according to Simran, the V4 is again a more hardcore motorcycle. It's based on the Panigale V4, and you feel it. It is a super bike in a naked body. Whereas the Speed Triple RS, it still has that triumph element. It's quite smooth. It's quite friendly also. I mean, compared to the V4S, it is definitely. a lot more friendlier so uh, when you're going around the track uh, this is the motorcycle that you quickly get comfortable on whereas on the v4 it takes time you have to do a couple of sessions to understand the bike to understand its behavior and it's quite violent also in in the sense how uh, the power delivery it's, it's quite aggressive now uh, of course uh, the speed triple rs it is an inline 3 and all of that power is produced at the top of the rev range whereas in the v4 it's just a sudden burst Now uh, the problem with the Triumph was that uh, this motorcycle when when you're taking corner exits it, it's not that responsive and that's where it loses time whereas the V4 it just shoots out of corners now uh, coming back to handling again both the bikes are quite evenly matched uh, the V4S has electronic suspension so it adapts to the conditions whereas this one has Olin's fully adjustable suspension so you have to find the right setting for yourself now with the Speed Triple RS as i found out again i thought this was uh, a good motorcycle to learn on it is quite interesting that way and it doesn't really scare you whereas the v4 like i said you have to spend a lot more time with this motorcycle to figure out what's happening and it has a lot of electronics a lot of modes so you have to be 100% sure what mode you are in if the abs is on rear abs is off and it has that slide control also so a lot of things are happening with this motorcycle so again we are back to square one in the sense this is a v4s so you have to understand this motorcycle the electronics uh, you really have to get the hang of it and uh, i think in professional hands it is going to be quicker even simran thought if he had more uh, time in hand he could have changed the modes and he could have gone faster than the lap time that he put out now the speed triple rs like i said it's more friendly and when i lapped these motorcycles back to back i was faster on this uh, by a whole second i did 110 on this uh, and i did 111 on this so uh, there was the difference and the v4's lap time didn't come easy i had to really push the motorcycle really understand it and then it's quite rewarding but the triumph you just get on it and it feels very comfortable both the street fighter and speed triple are equipped with brembo stylema monoblock calipers now while the ducati has bigger discs up front the brakes on the triumph offered more feedback and consistent bite not to add the triumph's medzilla race tech rr k3 rubber also seem to offer slightly better grip and more feedback than the Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2s of the Street Fighter. As for the exhaust note, well the Triumph produces a deep and raspy inline shriek along with a sweet induction noise as the revs climb. The Street Fighter on the other hand produces loud, violent and guttural noises right from the word go. The Ducati as you'd expect has more drama and theater in that sense. Another thing about the Speed Triple RS is that it a little more road focus so in terms of ergonomics you are sitting on top of the bike rather than in it and the v4 it feels more sport bike like but uh, having said that uh, i've ridden the speed triple rs on the road and i didn't enjoy it very much because it overheats a lot uh, the clutch was a little clunky the power it's produced like i said all at the top range so in the city you might not enjoy it on the road also it's too stiff i haven't ridden the v4s on the road I have to wait how it behaves on the road. So uh, on the road I am not sure which one is better but for the track the V4S is going to be lethal weapon if you know your stuff. But 
if you are a new rider, you want a motorcycle for the road as well as for the track, well, I think the Speed Triple probably makes more sense. And on top of that, it's also more affordable because uh, it doesn't get electronic suspension and all those electronics. You have the V4 as well, which is 20 lakh rupees X showroom. This is 18 lakh X showroom. So between those two bikes, you can probably decide which one you want. But between these two, I think the Triumph is better value for money. As for me, I think I really like the Street Fighter because it has a lot more character and it keeps you entertained, it keeps you on the edge. And the more time you spend with this motorcycle, the more you learn about it. And again, it is a motorcycle that you want to master. So that's why I enjoyed it more. Speed Triple, if you want a motorcycle for all purpose, I think this is still the better bet.